from Bring Him Up for you guys. Give it up for Mr. Sam Lyons. Woo! I am not an active shooter. Uh, I feel the need. <laughs> Brian can say things like that, which is great for him. Like, exercises that right, but people <laughs> like me need to actively say that we are not that. So, like, <laughs> this is a microphone. When I get off stage, it'll still be a microphone. When I put that in my pocket, it's going to be a tripod. Relax. <laughs> And now let's have fun. It's great to be here. Hello, Brennan's. Uh, I'm happy to be here in scenic Central West End, uh, right next to the world-famous coffee cartel across the street. Give it up for that oddly named coffee shop. That seems like a weird thing to like want to be known for as a coffee shop, like a cartel. You know, that, that seems like something that like a group of sorority girls would call themselves when they go out for Sunday cappuccinos. <laughs> Like this seems like an Instagram hashtag, you know, coffee cartel, hashtag squad life, I don't know. But that's just, it's, it fits in well, I like it. Uh, you guys having a, having a good March? Mar March is a month that like nobody like shouts out enough, you know, like every other month has some like huge holiday in it, like February, you know, it's Black History Month. That's poser. Stop. You don't. You didn't even know. Uh, <laughs> name three of their songs if you know Black History. I, I had a pretty. Black, Black History Month is is um, interesting for me. I'm uh, I'm biracial. I'm half black, half white. So I only get the first uh, fourteen days. So. <laughs> 2016 was cool because I got 14 and a half, but uh, that's <laughs> a little fraction humor for you. Uh, I get, uh, I get, I get, I got a gift for Black History Month this year. My girlfriend got me a present. Um, she's white, so it's kind of a reparations type of thing. <laughs> and, uh, so she gave me the gift. It was wrapped in a very, you know, very nice wrapping paper, and I was really excited for it. And I, I opened up the wrapping paper. And I pulled out season three of Gilmore Girls. <laughs> it was what she got me for Black History Month, and I was just really surprised by that. I just looked at her and said, woman, I've already got the box set. What are you doing? <laughs> Black, white, in between, whatever. It's a great show, all right? I love uh, those mother-daughter conflicts. I don't know, that's a weird thing to say. I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, but she, she knew I like that. She knows me pretty well. We've been together for um, a long time. I can tell we've been together for a while because uh, we started scheduling sex, right? That's like the big <laughs> note. So like, I, uh, I have to send her like, a uh, Google Calendar invite. Uh, <laughs> and I have to sit there while she marks maybe on it. You know? <laughs> Because we gotta see, is it a rerun of Grey's Anatomy? What's going on? Another, another great show in the early seasons, whatever. Uh, she, we, uh, it's gotten to the point, you know, when you're in a relationship for that long, things can start to get, you know, stale if you don't observe them. So we're trying to, you know, keep it fresh in the bedroom by saying things like, keep it fresh in the bedroom, you know? I, uh, <laughs> I've been reading the magazines and you know the blogs and the Tumblr posts, and I uh, I read a, an article the other day that said you should bring ice into the bedroom to keep things interesting. So I tried that. Uh, they didn't tell me how annoyed she get by me chewing on the Sonic ice chips. So, uh, <laughs> that's cool. It's, that's it's good that I I, uh, I kill the mood uh, because my my mom's getting to the point where she's like asking about grandchildren. You know, like she, she's all like, oh, I, you know, I'd love to hold a grandchild in my arms sometime soon. And I'm like, we can get you a job as a babysitter, mom. You can hold, <laughs> I can, that's somebody's grandchild. It's not going to be yours, but uh, like, I've, I've, like, I've got a lot to do before I have kids, right? Like, I haven't tried Coke yet, you know? <laughs> and like, I've read, I've read what to expect when you're expecting. And like, chapter one is try the good Coke, you know? <laughs> 
Which is like a weird thing. When you go on a Craigslist, you you like the post is who's got the good coke. That's like fucking narc. So I'm still. <laughs> so, so it's goldfish and sea monkeys for this family until then. <laughs> Hey, uh, why is it that older women who date younger men are called cougars, but uh, older men who date younger women are called before a judge? <laughs> That's not a quality. All right, I'm Sam Hunt. You have a great night. <laughs>